Misery is the river of the world. Misery is the river of the world. Everybody rolls. Everybody rolls. Everybody rolls. Everybody rolls. Everybody rolls. To me, one of the attractions of this play is that it's, it's not dated at all. I mean, who would ever think that this is a play from, you know, the 19th century? I mean, it's so, it's much more contemporary or modern than most modern plays. It's just these big sort of blocks of architecture, construction, that, uh, and the way it's constructed and put together. It's, uh, I don't know, I think the, all the playwrights, I, contemporary playwrights I can think of, are nowhere near as, in some ways, modern as this. I mean, it's classical, but it's, it's very modern. It's a, well, you know, with stories, the, th the hard part about getting the truth out of anybody is that the people who know what really happened aren't talking, and the people who don't have a clue are, are diving across the table for the microphone. And uh, who knows what really happened in the actual story. It really doesn't matter anymore because it's now a story. And when something becomes a story, it's like a hammer or a, it's, a, it's a tool or it's a, a vehicle or, a, you know. And, uh, and then, uh, you know, it deals with madness and children and, and obsession and murder and all the things that we care about. It's a very strange love story. I mean, there was, here's Marie and Wozzeck, you know, standing, and they're both looking straight ahead. I thought, such a strange and some way bizarre and could be very touching love story. These two people are somehow separate and together, and I don't know. No, uh, no, we're writing the songs for, for other singers. Um, I think my voice is going to be the voice of the monkey at this yeah. point. I think yeah. that's the... We have a little monkey in this play, and that's Tom. <laughs> so I'll be here and, and embodied some way. He's right down front, yeah. too. <laughs> Thank you. 
uh, my wife and I had uh, written a play uh, called Frank's Wild Years, and, and we asked uh, Bob if he would uh, direct the play. And uh, one thing led to another, and um, we didn't actually do that project, but we went on ultimately to do um, uh, two other projects together. We did um, Black Rider and Alice, both with the Talia Theater. And, um, I guess the thing that I, I realized with Bob, I, I, I agree that we're uh, different men and different approaches to, uh, to work, but the fact is I think that if, if two people do in fact know all the same things, that, that one of you becomes immediately unnecessary and that, that there's something uh, um, that I uh, deeply respect about Bob's uh, worldview and uh, it sensitized me for, for, for the way that I, th I think that now I see the world. I, I never noticed furniture before. Now I, I notice chairs all over the world <laughs> everywhere I go. And, uh, and I think it, it, it really is, the key word really is, is, is play because I, I, this is a, a really, a, I, I get a lot of pleasure out of working with Bob and, and plumb uh, the depths of myself, I think, in, in a lot of ways. And, um, you know, you lose track of the time. And, uh... <laughs> As Tom said, we're, we're different, and I think that that's the attraction. They say opposites attract, and somehow he can do what I, he can do, and I can do what I do, and somehow we complement each other. But there's a lot of overlap, too. We can, um, he can talk to me about direction, or the look of a stage, or a character or development of, of a piece and he doesn't mind if I say something about the music or the sound and so there's a real trust and that's I think that's very rare that uh, you can what I like about Bob is that if he's uh, telling somebody how to move on stage uh, he'll come on up and he'll say watch and he'll show him how to move and he'll do this most uh, spontaneous and mystical uh, uh, physical uh, movement that uh, is captivating. And then uh, he'll go like this and, and then ask them to, to try on the same movements. And they're never completely the same, but, but they, uh, that they break eggs for the cast each time he does that. And sometimes you can do that with the songs as well. You can yeah. sing it for them. Um, technique is not important. For singers, emotional uh, telegraphing and truths mm. is is what is important, and and it requires no technique except emotional technique. I was Club? in uh, New yeah. York, and there was a, a really late at night. I heard an opera voice, yeah, like, and I thought, "Well, it's so so beautiful." And I, and I uh, was in Chinatown, like. Yeah. Where's that coming from? We followed it. No. Yeah. Tried to find the sound. We thought somebody's got to be rehearsing. Yeah. And 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 we thought, what a great chance! We'll sit by the window and we'll hear some real opera. Yeah. In Chinatown. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so we're looking everywhere. We can't find the the. We can't get any closer to the to the, the sound. sound. Yeah. And we're going all up different streets and and getting confused. And finally, we see a, a, a dumpster. A, a what? A dumpster. Dumpster. <laughs> what is that? No, a trash can. Oh, trash can, yeah, yeah. And yeah. there's a, uh, yeah. a lid's open a little bit. Yeah. And we get closer and the sounds are coming from the trash can. Yeah. How about that? And we're hearing like... <laughs> and we get right up to the dumpster and uh, we open the lid and there's a, a man inside the trash can and he's yeah. singing... Bacteria. 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 <laughs> wow. Bacteria. <laughs> well, well, that. Bacteria. Is it He's the trash all, you know, Yeah. Covered oh. with bacteria. Yeah. <laughs> 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 How about that? Well, this composition of bacteria. <laughs> yeah. So I thought we should. Do something maybe in this where we sing the word bacteria because they're doctors. Yeah. 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 They're doctors and they're oh, always that's worried right. about bacteria. Your mind. Yeah. 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 They're thinking, bacteria. yeah, they're always worried about bacteria. So. Yeah. I don't know, it's hard to it's hard to describe how you do what you do. 
I collaborate on the music with my wife, uh, Kathleen Brennan, and we, I guess, uh, you know, starting is really the hard part. You know, I didn't know the story of Woodchuck. Uh, I had to find out all about it. And it in some ways, it's like writing a um, writing music for a, a murder mystery and a, a, and a children's story, and uh, at the same time. <laughs> about a lot of things and then after a while you, you try to think about nothing. Mm -hmm. but, uh, I mean, it comes to a point, I mean, I think you, you start thinking about a lot of ideas uh, then you dig deep down in the piece yeah. and it gets very complicated. But in the end you want to come back to the surface and sort of forget about everything and just sit there and experience it. So every night you can experience it on a different level or in a different way. That, you don't want to fix any one idea. Oh, well, this is this, or this is that. You know, he is crazy. Well, maybe he's not crazy, or he is crazy. Or maybe it is love. Maybe it's not love. I don't know. It's Stay. 